Hi, this is Mike at WinCNC, and I'm going to do a little demonstration with OptiScout. I'll click File, New, and I'll go over to File, Import. I will import this DXF file. And what I have here, I have four layers. I've got my registration marks which you can see that they came in as the circle with the plus sign which means that they've been recognized. I've got the border of my stars as a red layer. I've got a circle in the center as a blue layer. And I've got these little green things out here which I'm going to turn into drill points. So the first thing that I want to do is rearrange these layers to where they come out in the right order. So I'm going to move my registration mark to the top. I'll move my drill points up next. And I'm going to pocket next. And I'll cut out my stars at the end. So, in order to work this correctly, I want to turn off everything but the layer that I'm working with. We don't have to worry about the registration marks. They'll be there, and we don't have to mark them in any way, change them, alter them at all. I do want to turn it off, though, the registration marks off, and I want to just select my drill points. And you can see that there are a lot of them. All these tiny circles represent drills. So to get these to drill holes, I go up to Plugins, Object Replacer, and I have to select the correct layer. So I just go up to Layer 2, which is this layer, and I'll say Replace it with a Drill Hole. You can see that you could replace it with a circle, square, a video mark, or something from the clipboard. But I want to drill a hole. So, and I want to replace it. The thing that's there right now, and I want to delete it. So, I just click OK here. And now if we look, you can see that they've all been replaced with these little plus signs, which means that those are drill points. So I'm finished with that layer. The next thing I want to do is go here on default, and I'll go to router, and I'm just going to go down to poplar, which is the layer that, or the material that I want to use it for. And now I want to click my eyeball and hide that. Next thing I want to work with is the pockets. And I'll zoom back out here. And I want to select all of my pockets. And I want to go to Tools, Routing Engraving. And again, I've got to select the correct layer, and that's pocket, and I decide whether I want a hatch fill or an island fill, and since these are circles, I'm going to island fill. You could easily do a hatch fill and, and select the angle if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go ahead and do an island fill. I want to give my tool diameter here, and I'm working in inches. don't think I need anything else here. I do want the overlap set, and I'll set it at 30%. And I'll click OK. And I'll zoom in on one of them, and you can see what they look like. So now I want to come back over, go to routing again, here, and select my material. Okay, I want to hide this one, and now I want to go to star, and I want to unhide that one, 
and now I want to select all those. I could also do it with Control A. And now I just want to go over here and since it's a simple operation I want to go routing and material. Go in here and everything looks right. I click OK and I've got my toolpath set. If I do an F9 now you can see my toolpath. Turn it off and there you can see it. The dotted line represents the original. I can turn all the layers back on now and hide them. I can come down. I only am using design. I am not using this to output so I can't produce anything. But I can do a sort with simulation and my layers in the correct order now registration marks then drills and pockets then cut out the stars I like the order that I've got them in and it would simulate something like this and there are my registration marks here are my drill points it would be drilling those and those will spread across the material. You can see the lines going by the uh, the drill points. It should do the pockets now. It's And now to do the outlines of the stars. And that's proof that it would work. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.